Hey guys, Miso here. Today I want to go over some of the settings that you can change in game to make your gameplay a lot easier, a lot smoother, and a lot clearer. That way when you're doing dungeons like Guardian Raids, Abyssal Dungeons, and Raids, you can really just focus on the things that matter, such as yourself, your positioning, the boss's attacks, and if you're a support, perhaps where your teammates are at and where you need to throw out your skills. So let's hop into the settings. So the first thing I want to highlight is this cooldown alert right here. Um, so when you toggle it on, what it'll do is it will play a little bit of a clicking noise when your skill is off of cooldown. For example, you use one of your attacks, it goes off of cooldown, it'll play a little click noise after it comes back up. Um, I feel like it's kind of useful, kind of not, because you can't really, it doesn't give you like an indicator for like what skill is going back off of cooldown, for example. It just clicks. Um, you'll know something's off cooldown, but um, doesn't really tell you what it is. I find it still a little useful. I put it on, but it's person to person, I feel. But the real meat and potatoes has to do with this section right here under gameplay and controls and display. So as you can see here, I ticked off player and raid member here for show HP bar. For player, it's really going to be a person by person basis because what this does is it'll put an HP bar on top of your character. I feel that's a little bit of clutter. Um, I don't really need to see it um, because I have the HP bar in the bottom. And also if I get low, the screen will turn red and play the heartbeat sound for me. Um, so I don't really need it. So that's why I turn it off. But for you, you might want to keep it on. Uh, it's really preference. Now this next one, raid member, I think is the important one, especially if you're playing a support like a bard or a paladin. So um, with raid member, what it does is if you're in a raid, usually at the moment, that's eight people, right? So there's your party and there's the other party that make up the eight. If you have this clicked on, you'll be able to see everybody's health bar, your own party and the other party's health bar. But if you have it turned off, you'll only be able to see your party's health bars. And that is super important because as a support, I want to be keeping an eye on my own team's health so I know when to use shields, when to heal, etc, etc. But I really don't care about other people's health bars in the other raid groups. I don't, I can't do anything with it, right? I can't give them support, I can't heal them, I can't give them shields. It really doesn't matter to me. All it does is clutter up the screen and makes it a little bit more confusing about who I'm supposed to be healing, who I'm not supposed to be healing. And if you really wanted to see their health bar, there's another little small box on the top um, that's floating on the screen that you can see all of their healths from there. So this makes it a little bit easier to choose that, pick out who your team is and who you need to heal. That's why I turn it off. The next one is also very important, which is going to be this one right here, the battle effects display. So right now I have it on include buff effects of party members instead of you know the default which is for all targets and the reasoning for that is because when you have a ton of people on the screen especially during a raid you're gonna have a lot of skill effects on the screen and it might cause you to miss a certain aoe kind of um, indicator from the boss it might make you miss let's say your bards heal your bards attack buff all those things that are on the ground you might miss it out on it because there are all these other effects on the screen. As pretty as they are, as amazing as this game looks, when you're in a raid, that can get distracting. That's why I have buff effects of party members only. That way, you can only see the buff effects of, let's say, your bard, your paladin, on the ground, wherever it may be. That way, you know where to go to get those effects. And along with that, we have the combat skill ID setting right here. I turn this on because... Again, it's another indicator for something important. So if you look at this skill right here, here's my attack buff. If I put it on the ground, you'll see there's a blue little pinpoint marker there that you can see on the screen. That is very, well, it's pretty apparent. It's more apparent than if you didn't have it on. So if we compare that to if we don't have it on, let's look for it right here, combat skill ID. We can drop it again, oops, drop it again. And that is not there anymore. So if you are a DPS or whatever class and you wanna be able to clearly see where the buffs are, I recommend turning it on. That way you can see where to go to get these buffs. Now, the last thing on this list that I would say is useful for 
doing raid content and whatever it may be, PvE content, PvP content, is this right here, skill screen shake. I don't really mind it too much, but I know some people do, so feel free to turn that on or off depending on your own preferences. So that about wraps up this video. Very quick, very easy, a couple of settings they can change to make your raids and fights go a lot smoother, have a lot less clutter on the screen, be able to focus on what you need to focus on. Um, there's a couple other settings in here that I changed that are more quality of life settings, like this AM PM time format and this thing right here about skill tree notifications. You can play around those with those as you'd like because everybody's gonna have something different that they prefer. But for the basics, for the fights, for the guardian raids, raids, etc., those are my settings that I prefer to play with. Hopefully this video helped. As always, leave a comment down below if you have think there's something I missed or something you want to talk about. Um, and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.